Hello and welcome to ArchitEasy. Today I am going to introduce you to global parameters in Revit. If you were not using them, it's definitely time to start. It's a great tool and you have to take power. So what you have to know before we move to Revit that the global parameter is a parameter created in a model and they are specific to a single project. It does not have a specific category and can be assigned to multiple families as an instance or type parameter. What you also have to know is that uh, they can hold the simple values or formulas that they can drive a value of a dimension or a constraint and they can be used to control many elements at one time. So it will help you to use them then to control the geometry of elements and build relationship between them in your project and then they can establish parametric relationship in your model. It's quite simple. And let me just show you a couple of examples in Revit how you can use them in practice. You can find the global parameters if you go to manage and then here, I will just create the one and I will name this one as a door distance of one. And I will make this as, let's say, 300. So how we can apply it, I will just select this door, for example, I will go to activate dimensions and I will make this temporary as a permanent dimension. Then I'm going to select the dimension and then I'm going to add the value, actually the label. So in this case, this one door distance of one and that's the global parameter I just made. And you see it's 300 and if I do the same for this door and I make this one as a door distance 01 you see it's going to be 300 as well and now I can just make one more door let's say this one for example uh, let's take this part now if I would like to move those distance I don't need to select all those doors and uh, do the things three times because I selected three doors I can just go to the global parameters and then I can make this one as, let's say, 500. So you see, it's moved. Or I can make it as 650. So everything seems fine. And if I would like to unconstrain this door, for example, I can just select the dimension and I will hit the delete button. And then I have to go here, unconstrained. And if I go and make this 500, you see that it will not apply to this door over there and by the way now if for example you would like to constrain this door again with the same parameter and you don't want to go with activity dimension you can just take this align dimension and then you can select it from the core of the door here and we can select this one and make it a door this how you know that some dimension uh, hold the global parameter it's quite simple so you select the dimension and if you see this small pencil tool it means that this dimension holds the global parameter but if you would like for example to delete the dimension not to be visible but to have a constraint you can just simply hit the delete button but instead of going here you just need to go okay so it's still going to be constrained let's just check this so let's make this as a 750 for example and as you can see it works at this door as well even if you have no dimension visible here I will bring it back to 650 and for example it's also good to know that if I select this wall for example it will show us that we have two parameters assigned we can also use the global parameters as a reporting parameters and the other way to make it that you can just select the dimension you can go to this small icon over there which is named as a create parameter and then here we can name this as a uh, room width 01 and I will just click here and make it reporting parameter and now for example if I delete this dimension but it's constrained and if I move this wall like this and if I go to global parameter we are going to see that the width of this room is 2.2 meters with this simple tutorial I really would like to encourage you to start using uh, global parameters because they could be a real game changer in your Revit workflow. If you have any questions or any doubts just feel free to write in a comment. And yeah, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.